Hey everyone and welcome back to Diablo Flamenco. In this new series we're going to break down a solo by Paco Pena called Santuario, which is a really nice zodiac to get you started within this palo in a more advanced way. But there are also really easy parts of this solo which you can break down and use within your own solias. And that is the point of this series, is that you do not have to learn this entire solo in order to play some of the stuff in it. You can take out a couple compasses and use it in your solia. And we're going to go page by page. So let's start with looking at page one. Let's go ahead and start breaking down this piece, compas by compas, and again I am on the first page of Paco Pena's Toque Flamenco book, which I will also include a link to in the description so you can get a copy of it. So we're on page one, and I do have the Sejia or the capo on fret two, which is the same that Paco Pena uses in the recording of this piece. And let's start with the opening falsetta, which is a traditional falsetta. And we're going to start with these double stops. We're going to start with the middle finger, second fret on G, and we're going to play that at the same time as the open A. And you can either play it at the same time, or to sound more flamenco, do what's called a grace note. We're going to play the thumb just slightly before the index, so you get this badam kind of feel, right? And both of these notes are A, so that's why we get an octave here. We're going to do the same thing on C. We're going to grab the C note here with the ring finger, third fret on A, and the pointer finger is going to grab that first fret on the B string. We're going to do the same thing and play those notes. So we have. Now we're going to take this shape and just move it down, one fret each. So now we have the ring finger third fret on D, and then pointer finger first fret on the first string. So those are our double stops. So from the beginning. And here we're also going to slur. So that's slur with the pinky to get a hammer on, pull it off, back to the first fret, and then pull off to get open first string. Now we're going to go to our solia cierre, which is on the E chord, and we're going to use the middle finger on the second fret on the D, pointer finger first fret on G, and our right hand we go thumb index on the two E's, and our thumb is going to go D string, G string, D string, and then index will hit the high E. So, so far. We're going to repeat. So, so far we have one, two, our first compass. Now going on from there, it starts the same, but here with that slur I just go hammer on and then pull off back to the first fret. So again, and then here we're going to build this chord. It's a variation on a G chord ring finger, third fret on the sixth string, middle finger, second fret on A, pinky, third fret on D, 
and we're going to do this phrase here. So I do thumb on the 6th string, I'm going to use my index to pluck the G string, then a thumb is going to go A string, D string, G string. go to a variation on F, just with two fingers, pointer finger first fret on the 6th string, middle finger second fret on G, and we're going to go thumb, index, thumb, index, and that index stroke is playing the same note. Now we're going to go back to this C shape, and we're going to do another slur. So it's flicking the note, slurring to free, pulling off to one, pulling off to open, into our solia siete. So that compas. to go into the Escobilla, and this is a picked Escobilla. We're going to start on our E chord, 2nd fret on the D string, middle finger, 1st fret on G with the pointer finger, and we're going to do a combination arpeggio. We're going to go P, I, M, A, M, I, and then the ring finger is going to grab the 3rd fret on the D. And then an index stroke on the open first string. And then move the middle finger down one string to hit that second fret on G. So we have. And this is one, two, three. Next we're going to go to C. We're going to do the same kind of pattern. Thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index. Now with the thumb, we're going to do a hammer on from the second fret to the third fret. And then open G, we're going to do another hammer on pull off to the second fret. So we have. the F major 7, we're going to do the same arpeggio, thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index. Now we're going to play a little chunk here, that's 2nd fret on D, with the open 1st string, and back to the F major 7, I'm going to use my thumb and just graze down, and then to the E chord and just graze down. Start on the D string down, so that way it's a cleaner sound. So the Escobilla. What counting? One. on the 12. Continuing on with the next line, it's actually very easy. All we need to do is hold a full E major chord. Again, middle finger, second fret on A, ring finger, second fret on D, and pointer finger, first fret on G. And we're going to strum on each beat, but we're also going to slur with the pinky to get the third fret on the D. So that sounds like this. We're gonna do this 12 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The hard part 
of this phrase for beginners is putting the accents into the solia. So remember, in solia, we have accents on beats 3, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So what we want to do, really, when performing this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. emphasis on those accented beats. But the phrase itself is very simple. The top part is just strumming a little bit harder on those accents. Now we are on the bottom line, continuing on from where we left off. We have the strummed escobia. So we're going to start on our F major 7, and we're going to use our five stroke rasciado. So this is pinky, ring, middle, index down, followed by the index up. So we have. And then down, up, down, up. So this is one, two, three. Switching to C major, we're going to do the same thing. So, so far we have one. to the F major 7, do another rasgiado, when we come back in we're going to add the pinky on the 3rd fret on the B, and do it down up, keep the shape held, move the pointer finger down to the 1st fret on the 1st string, and another down up, so that phrase will sound like this. So you can hear there's a little bit of melody within there. So, so far we have. To our solia close. On the E. So we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But going into the next measure we have a little bit of tremolo, just to add some ornamentation. So we have 10, 11, 12. So from here, 10, 11, 12, and 1. So index, ring, middle, index will play that first string for the tremolo. And then you're going to stroke down with your thumb. And we're going to have a slur here. So two, three, two, open, D, two, three, two, open to two. And you might want to isolate that on its own just with your thumb. And those, you can do it with either your ring finger or your pinky. I do both. I think sometimes I get a better slur with my pinky, so sometimes I might use that. But just isolate the thumb note on its own. And then when you get that, combine it. So, so far. Do it again. And then we have just once, go to the F major 7, to E. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can also add a gold fade on that last 12. And that is the first page. And that's all I'll give you for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning the first page of this really nice solo. And like I said at the beginning of this video is that you can take bits and pieces of the solia, remove it from the solo, and put it within your own solias. So if there's something that's too hard right now, that's okay. Let's say that third line with just the E chord is easy for you. That's actually a really good intro for a solia and a very old school way to introduce a solia. So you can use that within your piece as well. And then let's say that last phrase is too hard, you don't have to do it. You can play everything else and mix them around. And that's the beauty of flamenco is that we have this ability to take things out, replace it with other things, 
as long as we're in compas, we're good. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions down below and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. And I will see you next time. Hasta luego.